This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their Data Tools Unit, Lesson 11, Deleting Records, Puzzle 5. Alright, using objects to specify what to delete. When deleting an object in the database, the only property the database checks is ID. Everything else is in the object is ignored by delete record. The key takeaway is that you can pass any object to delete record as long as it has a property called ID. The database will try to delete a record with that ID. Let's look at an example, okay? Do this. Starter code is provided that constructs an object called song and sets song.id, so what we just deleted. The, oh, no, no, the, yeah, the ID of little bunny foo foo. Additional junk properties are added as well. Got it. The my songs table in the database has been restored to its original state. Replace the second parameter of delete record to use the song object instead of ID. So they just want us to write the object's name. So song, I believe. Yep. Okay. Do it like they are, though. I guess I'll have to add this back before switching song. Okay. Run your program and confirm that record with nine, ID nine is deleted. Oh. Interesting. So what's that is doing, right? Is we're grabbing the ID of this object that we were thinking of making and passing it to delete record and it says okay song and once we pass song it looks for id itself realizes it's nine and deletes that and returns successfully delete well and returns it cool returns true run your program yep change the idea in the song object to the idea of a different record in your database run your program and confirm the record in my songs was deleted Get lucky. Uh, reset. Run. Yep. Huh. Alright, so we got to be careful with that, but that's good to know. We can just pass the object's name, right? And that will delete the song because it will get the variable itself. I mean, the ID property itself and delete whatever is at that ID or whatever has that idea in the database. Let's keep uh, going.